Today I'm going to talk about subpages, and I want to go ahead and say this. I'm probably going to say subdocuments because I have said that for four years, and I just figured out that it must be subpages, not subdocuments. So if I say that, if I do say subdocument, no, that's what I mean. Just a subpage, all right? So I woke up with a challenge for myself this morning. I've, I've mentioned in other videos, and you've seen uh, my... Um, grunge journal thing about grunge is that a lot of times they'll put pockets on it and they'll have junk stuck in the pockets and i was wanting to be able to see what was on the the um what whatever was in the pocket whatever it was i wanted to be able to see what it was so i built this one now this this is kind of a cheater document this background thing this is a actually something that i purchased this book and i'll put a link to it i'll have to find it but see this pocket right here is separate so it moves that's kind of a cheater thing but that's okay i mean it, it doesn't matter but and you saw all i had to do was move it over and i could see what was underneath it but that is not the point of it <laughs> The point is, I want to be able to see, to see each thing like I pulled it out of the pocket, all right? So, I figured it out. I'm so excited. What I did was I created two separate subpages. One to display the post-it notes and one to display this, this other thing over on the right is pictures. And... Now, I've also got the, the little labels just behind to look like I'm going to paste them onto the tablet. They're not, that's just fake. I don't need to see those. That, that's just to look like more stuff stuck in it. So, if I click on my link to go to my sub page, voila. <laughs> that's what's that's what's on my post-it all right so i hid my little passwords made up don't don't even try it so um and the beauty is on the sub pages i put a window over on the left that lets you see the top page the notebook is on the top page and there's just windows on the sub pages. All right. So that way I'm able to like cross out this because I've done it. And it will be crossed out no matter where I look because that's a window. And the other advantage to that is that because it's a window, it's linked to the top layer, the top page, which keeps me from having to go down and look on the toolbar for that little tiny arrow that points up. I don't have to look down there. All I have to do is just tap on anywhere on the, the tablet and it will put it back in place. <laughs> now, if I click on uh, the pictures, there's my pictures. I've just pulled them out. I'm looking, looking at it. There it is. Tap over on the tablet. And it puts it back. <laughs> now, usually, you know, when you do a sub document, it looks like this. If I click on uh, a plus sub document, it looks like this. That was what the original looked like. So, um, what I did was I hid that. Pretend that is. We'll pretend that is something that I'm going to use, but I'm not. I'm just going to send that to the back. Let's see. I've got it selected. And even though it's to the back, it's still a link that works. I always have trouble finding this. Move to back. It's because I keep saying send it back. It's moved to back. Oh. You know what? It's not working because it's on a layer that's that's at the top. So I need to move it. If I go to my my layers 
and I change the current to the one. That's okay. This is good to know that you can do this. So I've got a layer that's underneath the planner layer, and I just say selected to current and do done. And see, now it's gone. But that's okay because it still will work. If I tap down here on the bottom corner, see, it opens it up. Now, because I don't have a window or any way of getting back, I have to find my little up arrow for this if I go up. Okay. <clears throat> now, the if I want to see the post-it note, I know that the link is hidden right there. If I want to go to the pictures, I know it's hidden right there. <laughs> now, let me go, let me show you. Um, what I did is I selected everything, did a copy. Now I'm not doing the, I'm not doing the actual notebook. Okay. Let's see. Copy. And then I, I go to the hidden layer or page down here. And on this page, because it was, this is literally how it was. I, um, I went to the tool, the gear, and I made it double wide, double wide. And then I pasted it in place. And see, all that mess is in the same place. Or that's how I got all this stuff to be exactly where it needed to be on every page. And let's say I wanted to see the, um, the labels this time. I can just move that to the front. I've got one selected. And I can move to front. Alright, so now I've just created a, a third thing that will let me see those labels. Alright, so now if I just go up a level, go back to the original one, that's it. Okay, hope y'all have a great day here. Bye.